Hi and welcome to Visual Basic Program. In this very program, I'll be using the Y, Y loop and end Y statement to generate maybe a multiplication timetable. So let me enter a list box there. Uh, there's a lot of multiplication timetable out there, but uh, the difference is just uh, using these loop statements y and end y so let's just call it timetable that's just the difference because uh, not a, a lot of people do get confused when it comes to using the loop statement so the whole idea is just to boost up your confidence of using uh, this very statement so let's just uh, design the form a little bit more and make it look a bit interesting so that's my list box there I will use that very list box to out as an output for my timetable let me give the user an option of selecting whatever number they would like to multiply I have a label here and this very label maybe we should enter enter a number to multiply okay that's what goes in there so let's change the font size font size yeah that's fine okay we will start by let's double click on that very button then we come here let's say deem a as a integer okay let's say a equals one then we start and say y a less than and equals to 12 and what we want a to do you can see the system immediately added and y our list box which is list box one dot items dot add what we add in is a and we say a equals a plus one we have to increment a if we don't do that we might end up with a infinite loop so we we'll run the program and see what we've done so far if i click on this we get one to twelve since i want to convert it to multiplication timetable i can then enter a value here and we multiply that but let me show you something supposing i comment out or delete this what will happen when I run the program is I will end up with an infinite loop. Let's do that. You see what will happen if I click there? Can you see that the loop is still going non stop and I can't even stop it? The only way to stop it is just to stop it right there. So let's go back and do that. Delete, let's paste it back there. So we now complete our multiplication timetable by saying and enter the speech sign there okay. and just to bring the data together then the next thing is text box text box one dot text then we go ahead and say equals we need a sign equals there equals then enter the sign equals here and we now want to multiply a and the text box together so we we'll paste that in here and just get rid of all of this and multiply those together so that's our multiplication timetable completed it's just a single line so if i run the program what you see is if i enter whatever value i enter in there that means give me the five multiplication timetable enter eight the same thing applies and that's how you develop a multiplication timetable using the Y loop and end Y loop look at it right there okay guys see it's a very simple very simple lines of program just one two three four five and that's it that's how easy it is so with this brief tutorial I'm just gonna call it bye for now